I was on Tinder and I had a horrible bio. I can't even remember, but I, I remember reading it to a girlfriend. She's like, you can't write that. I don't know what I would put. You might remember me from Blue Water High. Wet emoji, surfer guy, eggplant, dancing girl. Hi, I'm Adam Saunders, otherwise known as Heath from Blue Water High. Considering it's been 14 years since I've been on Blue Water High, I feel um, like I've aged a lot. I grew up out west, quite far away from the beach, so I'd never learned to surf before. Which I found out a lot of the cast members lied, like they asked, can you surf? And I said, no, I can't surf. And when we're getting into our, our surf training, Everybody's like, shit, I can't surf. I'm like, yeah, I can't, there's no problem. And they're like, no, we all, we all said we could surf. Like, what? <laughs> the uh, extent of our surfing was kind of like holding the board, putting the leg rope on, walking out, maybe a bit of a paddle, turn around, paddle back in, take Rashi off, give it to body double, and then they would go and do the, the amazing surfing that you see. To land the role of Heath was uh, just, I guess, a straightforward kind of procedure. Although they weren't actually seeing me for that role, they just wanted me to come in and audition. I think Heath was, uh, his character profile was blonde-haired, blue-eyed, um, they kind of wanted some dready-looking guy and um, this brown boy rocks in. And so I just did, did the scenes and um, I think I got asked for a callback and yeah, managed to, to get the job. Oh, what did I used to do on set? I know I just like giving people frights. Like I love, I love that little moment when you can like jump out and scare somebody and you see like the blood drain from their face. And I don't know if that's evil or something, but I just, I really get a kick out of that. If I didn't play Heath, I would probably like to play hmm, Edge, because maybe that's like the second coolest character. <laughs> I don't know. Matt's character is just like the science guy, kind of boring. My favourite, that's easy, Foy, he was my best mate on the show, so he was the best to shoot with. Ooh, the worst to film with. I'm going to have to say Sophie. Sophie, he played Fly. Only because she was so bloody sweet. And if she like did anything wrong, she's always apologized. She'd apologize like for nothing. And then you'd say, stop apologizing. And she apologized for apologizing. It was like, ah, oh, you just wanted to, to throttle. <laughs> there are a couple of moments that stand out. Um, I'd say number one would be my near death experience in a boat accident. So that was where Chris and I were trying to land a boat up on the sand. It was one of those lifesaver boats. You had to kind of speed up and crash under the sand. And um, we had a stunt coordinator lying in the front of the boat, but he was a really large guy. So they, they asked him to get out of the boat. Now the boat is a hundred kilos lighter in the nose. And as we're flying towards the sand, the nose kind of kicks up and so I kind of stand so I can see over the edge of the boat and the throttle slips out of my hand. The throttle's broken, so instead of it recoiling and going back to a stop, that just kind of kicks off high speed. We lose control of the boat. All we can do is kind of hold on for dear life. And we kind of missed the sand, ended up hitting the concrete ramp. The camera crew had to scatter everywhere. Cars had to dive left and right. And I was never allowed to drive a boat again for the series. That's probably the, the one moment that stands out and uh, still kind of I go to sleep at night going, why can I just hold onto the throttle? Why can I just hold onto the throttle? So the producers kind of shot themselves in the foot when they, they put the show together. It was a pitch that um, was just off the top of their heads. I think they had pitched a couple of shows and they had fallen flat and they had a little moment where they just kind of came up with the show on the spot and it was like they'd been watching Australian Idol and all these shows where you know people were living together and competing and they thought what about a show where kids live in a house they compete and at the end of the year one of them wins a spot on the world tour and off they go and then not realizing that it was successful and people wanted a second series 
the format didn't allow for the characters to remain. So the second series was a whole new cast and same with the third. And I went back in the, at the start of the second season for a couple of episodes as like the house cleaner, <laughs> which is a massive downgrade when I look at it now. It's like, yeah, let's just bring this guy back into vacuum. I think I had some comedic vacuum moments. Um, they kept fly on, so I think they wanted to, to try and ease the audience in, like, here's the old guys for a little bit, but then kind of uh, get them onto the, to the new cast. Which I'm just gonna call it, they're not as good as the OG. No, I was never aware that Heath would uh, become thirst trap status. Is that how you say that? I don't even know. What that means, I'm too old. I mean, in my mind, he was just this like skinny little runt um, with too much confidence. <laughs> so no, I did not think that, yeah, 15 year olds would be getting hot and heavy for Heath. <laughs> I'm talking about this a lot. I feel like people get naked on the gram like a lot these days. I feel like my half nakedness, like my top half nakedness, is very, it's sporadic. You know, I don't think it's, it's too much. We never expected Blue Water High to become, you know, part of people's upbringing. It was kind of like a job, got the show, went and shot for six months and then that was it. And <clears throat> I guess because I was older and out of school, um, I didn't really know anybody that was watching the show. So I didn't really know if it was being watched or <laughs> what the deal was and it's, I guess not only until kind of later years where people um, are kind of coming up and saying hey I saw that show or hey you were the guy from that thing back in the day and so yeah it's kind of cool.